Hey, sixth grade. I hope everyone is doing well. Well, today it's Dare to See Blair with Mrs. Wyant again from Juniata Gap. Well, today's landmark is actually a request from a student from Pleasant Valley. So I want to thank you so much for your email. And I think everyone's going to really like learning about this landmark. It's not too far from Mount Tuna. Okay, let's get started. Okay, before we learn about the landmark, let's take a look at on this day in history, April 28th. So I don't know if you have been to the beach, but if you have, I'm sure you made something out of the sand. Well, on this date in history, the world's tallest sand sculpture was built in St. Petersburg, Florida in 1985. So listen to this, it was 37 feet high and it took 12 days to make it took six front end loaders, 4,000 tons of sand, 12 workers, and 500 volunteers to complete it. And also the first weekend that it was open, it attracted 150 sightseers. So it was the tallest for a while until the following year, someone made one even taller. Okay, do you wanna see it? Here it is. So it's pretty intricate. And I'm sure this photo does not even do it justice. So keep in mind, it's 37 feet tall. So pretty cool. I know I would want to see that in person. Okay, let's, let's move on here. All right, so here are some hints as to where we will travel today. Well, it's in Blair County. Altoona is in Blair County, and this landmark is in Blair County, not too far out of Altoona. And as you can see down here, I already told you it's in Hollidaysburg. So let's move back up to this one. We are about to explore one of the coolest geologic wonders in Blair County. And the study of geology, kids, it's just about the earth, the study of the earth. And for an example, it could be the study of rocks or stones. And this landmark is about the study of rock formations. So let's look at this one. This is also a great place for hiking, picnics, celebrations, and it's very well known for the breathtaking views. So you think you have an idea? Let's move on. Well, here it is. Now this happens to be one of the oldest pictures of our destinations. And right here it tells us we are traveling to Chimney Rocks. Chimney Rocks in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. Look at this guy up here. Wow. Okay, oh, there's another guy. Okay, I, don't, I would not suggest that. Okay, so take a look at this rock formation and I want you to compare it to the next slide. Okay, so I don't know if this is the exact same one, but it looks very similar. So Chimney Rocks is a natural wonder resting high on the mountainside in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. So if you are leaving, if you're on Route 36 and you're leaving Hollidaysburg, if you look to the left, it would be very difficult to miss Chimney Rocks. So I am sure if you haven't visited Chimney Rocks, I am sure you have passed it numerous times. Okay, so this is one of the limestone formations from which Chimney Rocks was named after. So do you think it looks like a chimney? I think it does. Hey, Chimney Rocks has some wild vertical rock features that offer a dramatic panoramic view of the Juniata Valley, Juniata Valley and Hollidaysburg. So what you're looking at right here, this is what is known as the lookout point. So if you're afraid of heights, maybe not don't go that high if you're if you go visit Chimney Rocks this summer. But that is quite a tremendous view of Hollidaysburg. 
Okay, so unfortunately, when I was doing my research on chimney rocks, there wasn't a ton of history to learn, but this is what we do know. Local history tells of Native American tribes using the rocks as a lookout for the valley. And also Native Americans used the rock wall to build signal fires to send messages to fellow Native Americans down below. And the chief of the tribe would sit in the chief seat atop the limestone pillars watching over his tribe. I don't know about you, but I would love to learn more about Native Americans. So at the lowest point in the park, you can see this iron furnace and that dates back to 1836. And some have speculated about a small cave near the highest lookout. However, as I was researching it, I did not find any evidence that supports a cave. I didn't read anything where somebody said they actually saw the cave, but someone Someone did speculate that there was one, so who knows? Maybe it will be discovered one day. So as you enter the park, this is what you will see. The park has multiple levels and 120 perches. The lower level is completely flat and it has a picnic area and a playground. So you would enjoy that. There are hiking trails and breathtaking views. So it would take, if you wanted to take one of the hiking trails, it would probably take you about 25 minutes to complete. So the borough of Hollidaysburg bought the land that is now Chimney Rocks Park in 1994. And during the holiday season, if you've been out in Hollidaysburg, you might have seen this 20 foot high lighted star near the top of the famous rocks. So if you haven't seen it, maybe this holiday season, look for it. It's really beautiful. So I think we are so fortunate to have something this beautiful right in our backyards, practically. So the question that I would like you to answer on your, on your passport is, have you ever visited Chimney Rocks in Hollidaysburg? Now, if you have or if you haven't, please answer this question. Why is it fun to explore a local landmark such as this? Okay, so that's the question that I'd like you to complete. And just take a look at that view. Now, you can tell that this was the season of autumn, fall. And that is just breathtaking. So kids, hopefully this summer, you can visit Chimney Rocks and maybe take a hike or have a picnic there. I think that would be fun. All right, well, thank you for watching. And again, if you have something you wanna learn about, don't hesitate, email me and I'll start researching it. Uh, another student emailed me and said that they would like to learn about um, more about the Horseshoe Curve. So I think that could be coming up. Okay, kids, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next week.